Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and this is part two of my bucket plugin tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to make a basic plugin, and just you know, just the basics of how to do um, set things up and how plugins work, things like that. So I'm going to just jump right in. And I decided that what I'm going to do is make a simple plugin that allows you to put color on signs. Um, so to get started, we just need to make a new um, a new project in our Eclipse workspace. So we click on here, we go to New, just right click, or you go to File and New, and Java Project. Now I'm going to call this Sign Edit, and just using the, the execution environment uh, 1.7 I have installed, and let's carry on next. Now remember before my previous video I told you you need Bucket uh, installed, and here, this is where we add it. We link our project up to bucket. And that way our plugin can use the library files, the class files from bucket. Now the other thing we need to do is add an external jar. This is that eBean I told you about right here. So we downloaded this the other day. So we click on that. You don't want to click on the agent, Java Docs, or sources. Uh, you just want to click on the basic one here. And we're going to open that. And that should be good. So we're linked up to bucket. We got eBean linked up. And we're gonna click on finish. So we get our we get our empty project here. So first things first, let's create a new class file. Now the class file is gonna be the same name as your project. So let's see sign edit and everything else should be good. Oh package. Package uh, I'm not gonna get too much into Java, like teaching Java with these tutorials, but basically a package is like a um, I guess the best way to explain it would be like a, a grouping. You can group your classes in like folders, kind of. So normally, what people do is they name them based off their web address or things like that because they've got to be unique. So I have tigerstudios.net. That's my web address, and I'm just gonna put net.tigerstudios. You usually put them backwards, like net.tigerstudios.signedit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, and that should be good. So here we go. We've got our basic class file. Now to make this an actual plugin for Bucket, we have to extend the Java plugin uh, class. So extend Java plugin. Now this is a class as part of the Bucket library. Now, if you hover your mouse over this, you'll see it says import Java plugin from org bucket plugin Java. So we're going to do that. And that's it. So here we have a, an empty file. So to make this actually work we need to override two methods that are part of the Java plugin. One is on enable and the other one is on disable. Okay so as you can see here I've added the on enable and on disable methods to our sign edit class. Um, this is what gets called when obviously when the server starts it enables your your plugin and so whatever code you want to put in here to start up your plugin you put in here when your plugin is shut down you put in your code to clean up everything or save files or whatever you need to do what I'm going to do first um, I'm going to sidetrack from this file because there's one other important file that every plugin has to have and that's a plugin or a file called plugin.yml it's just a basic text file, but there's one important thing about it. You can't have any tabs in this file. It has to be all spaces. It's a special kind of format. So it's called plugin.yml. And we're going to finish. Now this is going to open in Notepad++, because that's why I have installed for editing files. Um, a YML file is a file that is like it, it contains values and properties and things like that. Um, the thing is about it, it's sorted or organized by indentation. So if you have different sections, you can indent their code and that's how it knows different sections. But what's important for us here is name, colon, and I'm going to go sign, edit, and main. You got to put these in here. Now main is going to be net.tigerstudios.sign, edit and dot sign edit one more time because 
sign edit, the first sign edit is the package name. Sign edit that I'm putting in here now is a class name. Um, hopefully that doesn't confuse you. But I'm going to save this now. And I go back to my Eclipse. And it's in the wrong place. You get to put it under your source file right here. Uh, I have a sync with file system. Dope. I think I gotta close this here. That. All right, I'm trying to move that now. Oh, I know. If you ever get this error, just right-click on here and go to just refresh. Now I can move it like that. So we get our plugin.yml. We get our sign edit Java file, and we got two methods in here: on enable and on disable. Now I'm going to add a couple little things here off camera. Uh, I'm going to fill this out a little bit and then explain what I've done. So just give me one moment. I'll be right back. Okay, so what I've done, I've actually only did a couple little things. I added some string uh, variables, name and version, and I added a logger tool here as well so we can log messages out to the Minecraft uh, server console. Um, so on enable, we get description, get name, which is a method that gets the name that I put in that plugin that YML file. Version is the same thing and I've also added that because I didn't do that a second ago. So I just put in version colon 1.0. And the next thing I do is I get the logger from Minecraft and I put on my own sign edit so that means if anything if anything in my logs all my logs will go to uh, ah, geez, I'm explaining this wrong. I don't fully understand this here but I, I know if you do dot and a name I think it separates them somehow. And then I just log my the name, the version, enable. That way we know. And same with disabled as well. So that's all I've done so far. Now what we want to do is we want to find out when a sign is changed and we want to replace the color codes with a Unicode color code, which is going to put the actual color on the sign. Um, it's easier to show you than to explain, I think. So what I'm going to do is you want to implement the listener class. A listener class is an interface that is used for listening for events so basically it means your plugin will listen for any kind of event that happened on the server so let's type this in here Immense listener now once again it's underlined because it doesn't know what listener is so we're going to import it and you can see it's org bucket event and we need to register a class as a listener class so that basically says this class has a method to listen for events. That way the plugin knows that that's what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up real quick and then I will be right back and explain it. So what I have done, I have added a method for a sign change event and I'll show you where you can find these kind of things in a moment. Um, I've also added a pattern. I'm not sure if you guys know what patterns are. I'm not. I, I'm not really an expert on this, so I don't even want to try to explain it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link in the description to show you um, a pattern jar. There's a good site I go to, and it's got good information. But what basically this does, it detects the ampersand symbol you see here, and a pattern. So it looks for any digits between 0 and 9, A to F, K to O, and R. So it, it's just the way you put this in here. You compile this, and... Uh, on our sign change event, it passes. We pass it an event object which we can use to get information about the sign. So we get string line equals null, and then we just loop through four lines. So it's indexed from zero to three. So we say line equals replace pattern, which is up here, and we're looking for something that matches this pattern. And once it finds, it gets the line. Uh, event dot get line and I so that gets each line and it replaces it with this here like I told you this is a Unicode symbol so slash U 0 0 A 7 this is the symbol for actually it's a weird little symbol I'll show you here you press alt hold alt and 2 1 on your on your number pad there and you see this little symbol I'm not sure if you can see that very well but it's like a double S Anyway, that's the symbol Minecraft uses for color codes. So it just replaces the ampersand with that symbol. And the numbers or dollar sign one means the first parameter in here in these square brackets. So that's how simple it really is. Uh, let's see here. Deleted this here. 
So, and then we set the line back to our new line with the replace symbol. Now, like I said here, in Bucket, you can find lots of events you can tap into. So, what I'm going to, oh wait, first I'm going to show you this. Uh, on the on enable method, I added this as well. Bucket, get server, get plugin manager, and register events. And this and this. This is for the plugin. Now, let's see here. Listener and plugin. So, I'm using this file as a listener and this plugin as the plugin itself. So, that's what you need to do to register a listener class. Now, I'm going to show you over here. You can go through this list and you'll see org bucket, and there's lots of things here. But down here, a little ways, you see event. And there's block events, enchantment, entity, um, painting, player, server, everything. And you can see here when you open one of these up, block break, block burn, there's anything that you see here you can write an event for. So I'm not going to get too much into this right now. I just wanted to show you the simple assign change event. And we're going to look at this in Minecraft and see it in action. So to do that, we've got to right click on our folder here and we go export and we're going to export this as a jar file a java jar file and sign in it and everything's there you choose where you want it to go I have a special server on my computer for programming purposes and I'm going to put it right there so next next and finish oh it didn't save the file creation failed resource out of sync again okay I don't know why that's happening but it is so I'm just going to refresh it and we'll do all that real quick again. Export, next, and we just click finish. There we go. Okay, so I have that in my server folder and I'm going to start up my server and we're going to check this out. Alright everyone, I'm on my testing server here and as you can see this is, well, unrelated but this is my testing environment that I use for other things. But I have a sign in my hand and let's check this out. Let's make sure this works. So I'm using Spellcraft right now. That's why you see these codes up here. And this is what I was talking about: the ampersand and a letter or a number and a letter. These represent the different colors. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to try this out. Ampersand one. Oh, we'll see one. Uh, we'll just say blue. And we're going to go ampersand. Let's see four. Let's say I hope this wait I can spell right and let's go uh, green works all right woohoo it worked perfect so what happened there when I clicked done that sign change event was called and then what I did was it lo looked at this sign it went through each line and it swapped out that ampersand for these colors and that's basically it that's a simple plugin. It's easy to make. Yeah, once you get the basic idea of how to do it, it's it's very simple to keep going through and you start learning more and do more advanced things. So I'm going to end this video here. Uh, this is what I want to accomplish and we've done it. So I'm going to continue on with this series with this sign edit thing and I'm going to see about doing some more advanced things like right clicking on the sign, doing other things like that and maybe carry on with a plugin that I'll release the source code for you guys if you want to play around with it. But um, for now, I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. And I, I hope I can, you know, I hope you guys learn something from this and I hope it helps you out. Uh, please leave me some feedback. Let me know how I did. Uh, teaching is kind of really new, so if I say um a lot or whatever, please forgive me for that. But uh, I'll get better, I promise. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I will get more up as soon as possible. Bye-bye.